Three, two, one, go. All right, what's up, y'all? So um, if you saw my short, I had some fails. So I just got a fail because I was a dumb dumb and I ran out of resin. So I'm gonna show you that real quickly. And then I just got my new resin from Amazon. So I'm gonna put that in the machine and we're gonna get this going again. I have a snail and a gecko coming up soon. So here's the failed print. You can see even when I wiggle it, this part is very precarious. Uh, it looks like everything else is fine. So I'm gonna take it off and still scrape it and maybe I can salvage the snail. We'll see. Oh, this is big. So this is the fail. This is supposed to be the gecko. I ran out of resin like a dum-dum. So this is what happens when you run out of resin. This is actually really big. Uh, I didn't, I don't think I, I meant it to be this big. I have to come up with some sort of way to make sure that I can create things the size that I want because sometimes just eyeballing it isn't enough. So I'm gonna have to really pay attention to that. This was the snail. This must have been the point where, you know, the failure kind of affected everything else. Uh, the teeth actually f work pretty well. Uh, I made the teeth separate. Uh, again, people always ask me why I make things separately. It's because I respect the painter. I respect people that paint, people that can paint, because painting is absurdly difficult. Let me go in a little bit closer. Painting is absurdly difficult and it's very hard to paint things and make them look nice, uh, especially if they're all together. Uh, now, some people can do it. Some people can paint pretty well. I am not one of them. But what I did do from this is I, I figured I would just test some of this stuff out, some of these connections and see how they are. And like this one, that, that one's actually really good. So if I was to paint that, it would look good. Uh, also, I have parts of the eye, which I'm trying out a new way to do uh, the eye, which is to have a, a section there and then have a section here like this for the pupil. And I think that will work pretty well. The shell actually fit okay too. I like to do a square with a little peg and I actually didn't scale this down. Or I didn't taper it. Uh, because usually they just tend to fit pretty well without it. And it goes on pretty well. So then I have some new prints that I did last night. So first I did this guy. I didn't feel like doing all the connections and things. His teeth got really messed up. I don't know what happened to his teeth. They look really creepy. Everything else printed just fine, but I'm not going to I'm not going to paint it, paint it. I especially not going to paint this one that it's all messed up. If anybody wants these, like, let me know. Like, I'm not, I don't really do anything with uh, these little pieces that don't work out, but they're kind of interesting. So, so here's a little, the little connection, the same connection that I always make, and let's see if it actually fits. Again, I didn't do any scaling or anything. Okay, so I mean, it does, it does fit at least. It's not perfect. But it does fit. Let's see if it stands. Yeah, it stands. The weight is pretty good. So I also did a, I did a random one too. So this is actually another snail. This is the snail with the, if you saw my short that I did with the, the mask, the little mask. Look how cool the mask came out. So I'm not sure which, so one of the, one of the shells got messed up and I knew it was going to get messed up because I was using a lychee slicer. And it said that there was like holes and it couldn't we couldn't fix them i think it's this shell so obviously that's not going to fit in there um let me, let me try this one just in case it's this one no i think it's the yeah it's definitely the other it's not this shell so i think it's this shell but obviously that's not going to work uh, which is very sad so i might try to drill it out or i'll just reprint this one all together but I could probably drill that out and see if I can get that to work and see if I can get that in there. Or if I just break this off. But anyway, let's see if the mask fits. So first there's a, this goes on the back, this little piece. So this little piece goes on the back like this. And then Oh, before the mask goes on, there's teeth. There's teeth as well. 
So here, I think those are the bottom teeth, maybe? Where's the other teeth? I guess it's this, but I guess a piece uh, fell off. I guess. I don't know. Oh, that feels like it might be the bottom teeth. Oh, you know what? I think there's a tongue in there, too. Let's see if I can get that out. Come on, teeth. There we go. Oh, and I got some things in there, too, that I need to pluck out. There's always, uh... There's always supports. I need to start printing them so there's no supports in in mouths. I think that just means I need to angle it more. So I think there's a little tongue piece that goes in there, but I'm actually not sure the right way to do it. I think it's like this. But I can't tell if it's upside down or not. Maybe it's like this. It's like a weird uh, building blocks or something. So I think that's actually, I think that might be right. Let's see if some of these teeth fit in there. So these, maybe these are the bottom teeth. I feel like I'm missing some teeth. No, that doesn't, oh no. I think that is, I think that does make sense. See the little teeth in there? But I don't know where the top teeth are. I hope I didn't get rid of them by accident. Well, I don't know where the top teeth are, so we're just gonna put on the, the mask. Come on. Oh, oh, there we go. Teeth fell out, but the math, the mask went on. But we just lost his teeth. Or we lost his bottom teeth, at least. Okay, teeth are back in. Okay, what next? We don't know where the other teeth are, so I think we just, there's these little tiny pieces. There's little tiny pieces that are supposed to go here. I think they're the same, so I don't think it matters which side we put in first. Okay, where's the other one? There it is. Okay, so something like that is supposed to be like part of like the strap. So it looks like his mask is strapped on. And I think that's about it. So obviously the teeth we lost and I don't know how many times I'm going to say the teeth. I'm really bummed about that. I think they're anywhere else. And then there would be a shell on the back. But he came out pretty cool, actually. 
And actually, I did those connections and stuff really quickly, so I'm actually surprised at how good it fits. So then we have this guy, and we have uh, this snail. I'm really excited to see what this snail looks like. All right, so these go here, but I don't know which is which. Probably doesn't matter. I did have a piece that was supposed to connect that, but I think I, I had a couple different versions and I think I printed the wrong versions. So I'll probably just glue these together separately when I paint them. Of course it goes in the mouth. <laughs> okay, so then it has the little eyes like that. Teeth. go in here some kind of way but I know they fit because the other one fit so. There we go. Teeth go in there. We got the little cutouts for the bottom teeth. Oh, I gotta put the tongue in. Ugh. Supports. Tongue, I think it goes in like, oh, I guess it goes in like this. Oh, tongue, yeah, that went in nicely. Perfect. So I like to see. And now this bottom teeth. All you gotta do is go in that little section and not be difficult. to learn how to use these tools to my advantage. I need better tools, I think. Come on. I can tell that that's close. Okay, well, something like that. I think it looks pretty good. Oh, and also there's an, there's an extra little tooth Little teeny tiny tooth. It's supposed to go up there. I don't know which way it's supposed to go. Of course I drop it in the mouth. Okay, I'm done with that. I'm done with you, but I'm happy everything looks like it worked pretty nicely. So now this guy I'd be very surprised if all this stuff works. I actually used mostly the Boolean things with this. The Boolean, the new Boolean functions. Q 
Okay, so this looks like, sorry about my jacked up finger cuticles. Hard working man, I guess. Oh yeah. Sorry, I got really excited that that fit nicely. I think I put this part on first. Which I'll have to color white. And then see if I can put this part in. Okay, that's in. That's supposed to fit in there. And then this little piece is supposed to fit, but there's some I don't think this is supposed to be there. Just want to make sure there's no uh, supports. Okay. Oh, I don't, I don't, I, yeah, there's no way that this is going to fit in there. I don't think. But this is the pupil that's supposed to fit on here. But it's got too many little pieces kind of hanging off of it for it to fit, unfortunately. Hmm, it actually did go through. Oh, it's not round though, it's all like broken up. Oh, my cuticles are terrible. So yeah, you can kind of get an idea of what it's supposed to look like, but um, yeah, this is this is pretty bad. This might actually be better to just like I don't know, paint it maybe. I'm not sure what I can do with this. Oh well, so yeah, maybe back to the drawing board with this because that's not that ain't it. But he looks cute otherwise. But anyway, just wanted to show you a quick update of my little. Printed, printed creatures. So some success, some failures. Still a long way to go. But I always like to bring you guys along with me. All right, keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video. I just had the weirdest thing happen to me. I have no idea what this is. I'm gonna try to recreate what I did. All I'm, all I'm doing is bringing the light up. I don't know what up with this light but apparently it doesn't want to go there i guess it's only if i move it forward i don't know what that was about it's only if i move it in a certain direction and it gets real crazy it's it real nutty it's weird and creepy anyway that's it um yeah if anyone has any explanations i would be curious to know what that is hmm.